We're now going to talk about autonomic regulation of, or autonomic nervous system regulation to blood vessels. And in this one, we're going to describe how the role of the sympathetic nervous system has in regulating um, those vessels and the limited parasympathetic innervation. So first, let's talk about sympathetic innervation of the vasculature. Um, here we've got that uh, schematic that shows pre and post ganglionic neurons going to vessels. And so there's our S pre, which stands for our sympathetic preganglionic neuron, which conducts an impulse all the way down to that terminal axon, which releases acetylcholine into synapse number one, which occurs at all sympathetic chain gang, all the way down cervical, thoracic, and lumbar sacral sympathetic ganglia. It also occurs at the preaortic ganglia for going to blood vessels of the gut tube. And so acetylcholine will then bind to a cholinergic receptor, and in any autonomic ganglia, it's going to be a nicotinic receptor, which then continues down the S-post, or sympathetic postganglionic neuron, which we see this impulse travel all the way down to the terminal axon, which releases uh, norepinephrine into that synapse number two. And so in synapse number two, it's going to bind to uh, receptors in the tunica media, the smooth muscle of vessels. So norepinephrine will go to two different types of receptors. First, an alpha adrenergic receptor, which is vasoconstrictor, uh, have a vasoconstrictor um, action. So vasoconstriction will occur because that main autonomic influence for vascular tone, therefore total peripheral resistance. This is what happens to the majority of all the arteries that we find throughout the uh, body. Now there's also see, vasoconstriction. Now norepinephrine is also going to bind to these uh, beta adrenergic receptors in skeletal muscle, which will cause vasodilation. And so we see that we have two, norepinephrine can bind to two different types of adrenergic receptors, alpha, which will cause vasoconstriction, and beta, which will cause vasodilation, specifically in skeletal muscle tissue. There we go, vasodilation. Now, we also have parasympathetic response. Now, vascular smooth muscle is not innervated by parasympathetic nervous system, exceptions of coronary and penile arteries, therefore will not affect total peripheral resistance. However, Smooth muscle in the tunica media possesses muscarinic receptors, which, when activated, can cause vasodilation. And so that's one thing to keep in mind, that even though parasympathetic nerves don't go specifically to these vessels, if there's a type of medication within the blood that uh, is a cholinergic um, agonist, it could bind and act on those muscarinic receptors.